brand new dawn, bright new day. <laughs> Definitely bright. Under this light and color, the room looks very beautiful. Classy even. I understand that the cardinal rule of a good story is show, don't tell. But what I can tell you is that these are some of the photos that I took while I was in the lobby of the MGM Grand. I took them mostly in my Fimo app and Daz app cam. In my opinion, I have created some pretty good shots. Shots that take us back to a time of analog, of real film, like when I was younger. Sadly, when I was younger and I went to the MGM Grand for the first time, the hotel had a Wizard of Oz aesthetic. Sadly, it's no longer there. Wish it was. Would have made the hotel more interesting. And probably appealing to little kids. I guess the world grew up with me. Remember this costume? It's from the Hunger Games. Worn by Katniss in um, Mockingjay Part 2. Hopefully I'll get to see the exhibit sometime today. MGM Grand in two-strip Technicolor. And again. Here it is again in three strip Technicolor. One nothing too big on the Willy Wonka machine, but it was fun to play. To kill some time, we got free tickets to some test screenings. Can't tell you what the show is though, it's a surprise. The best part about the show that I watched, it was pretty interesting, but I can't tell you more. Wait until it comes out, if it comes out. Nathan's hot dogs for lunch. Delicious. Sorry, my dudes. Hunger Games ain't open on Tuesday or Wednesday. So we're going to the Titanic exhibit gift shop instead. And here it is. Here's the gift shop, folks. We've got a few books. Um, some shirts. Plates. And I think there were some jewels here. Now this is what I call a speakeasy. Well, I know one thing is working on this trip. I'm heading into the ice bar. Um, let's skip the photos. In we go. Just a couple rules before you guys head on in there. Your cups are gonna be made out of ice, so just make sure to hold them with two hands. Uh, make sure to put them on coasters as well, otherwise they will slide around the tables. Um, and then once you're done, just exit through this door. All our doors are pushed to open, so just push super hard. I'll be honest, I'll be right back. to warm the bottoms of those who sit upon the seat. And if you want to play games, just play Uno. A wall of Alice in Wonderland aesthetics. Now there's something you don't see every day, an ice chandelier. Glasses made of ice. Here you are. This is the retro bar in the Mandalay Bay. Not sure about the decor, and because it looks more 90s rather than 80s. A 777 and $5 tip. And $51 too. I think today has become our lucky day. I love this aesthetic. So purpley. Wonderful antechamber, and it's a very good display of lights. The city at night, in 
all its beauty. MGM Grand in purple or blue. And so ends my second and last full day in Vegas. I finished it off by seeing the latest episode of Percy Jackson that's actually San Las Vegas. And I'm disappointed with the changes. It doesn't feel very horrifying in my opinion, especially with Percy being the lost children. I hate to say it, but I think the movie's version of events on the Lotus Casino was more book accurate. Sorry.